the, the message of the Holy Gospel. Joseph and Eliza. Second Sunday in Ordinary Time. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 18 verses 1 to 5 and 10. Glory to you, O Lord. At the time, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven, and whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. What makes a child a child? Is it their age? Their thoughtfulness? Enthusiasm, their cuteness. What makes children admirable in the eyes of God? In the gospel, the disciples were yearning to know who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Each of them were waiting for the same answer. You. You are the greatest. You are the best. You are amazing. They were expecting Jesus to praise them. Their desire to be called great or exemplary must be stemming from the knowledge that Jesus is God. They must know that Jesus is someone far superior than them, which in turn makes them eager for his approval. They wanted Jesus to like them, love them. However, Jesus turned them down. Their greedy hearts aren't what the Lord is looking for, it is the child. But why? What makes children special? Going back to my question earlier, what makes a child a child? Have you noticed something similar among all children? Not their age, gender, or race. Something equally found among all of them. It is their dependency, the way they are reliant towards their parents, seeking support from them, learning how to walk, to write, or talk, to study, to answer their homeworks, to spend their money, to save their money, to engage and interact with their friends. All children lean on their parents because what else are they supposed to do? They don't learn immediately after they were born. They need guidance, something they seek for in their childhood. But as we grow up, we become stubborn. We stray away from guidance because of the accumulated knowledge we've had over the years. That is what the disciples thought. I am great because I am me. I am already great. They forgot to depend on God. They forgot that they themselves are mortal beings who develop their identity because of their dependence. They were prideful in a sense that they don't need anyone else, in a sense that they don't need to improve. So, like children, let us become dependent, not stubborn. Maybe we all need to realize that asking questions is okay. Creating mistakes is okay. Falling, tripping, and failing is okay. Because this is the guidance the Lord bestows upon us. We learn from our errors and correct them. That is what makes children truly great. They stand before trials courageously, knowing that there is someone behind their back to guide them along the way. Thank you for watching! 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless. Bye! Bye.